Greetings and welcome to the Data Armory. Today we are going to look at how to use Kaggle API to download Kaggle data sets. So, which is the easiest way to download Kaggle data sets? We know that in Kaggle we can explore, analyze, and share quality data. But most often, and more so for beginners, many beginners find it complex and are not able to download these data sets in case they want to use them outside Kaggle notebooks. And in case you're a beginner and you don't know what Kaggle notebooks are, because we believe that uh, for this tutorial, the prerequisite is that you should have a basic understanding of Python and you should also have a clue of what Kaggle is or you should also know what Kaggle is. But in case you don't know what Kaggle is, it is an online community platform for data scientists and uh, machine learning and also data analysis enthusiasts. And uh, Kaggle allows users to collaborate with other users. It also allows uh, users to find and publish data sets. And uh, they are also allowed to use GPU integrated notebooks and compare with other data scientists to solve data science challenges. So that is basically what Kaggle is uh, as an online platform for data scientists, machine learning and data analysis enthusiasts. But now, believing that you have a basic understanding of what Kaggle is, the steps that we'll go through for us to be able to download Kaggle datasets is that we will install the open datasets library. We will, uh, we will use we will use the open datasets dot download helper function. We will get Kaggle credentials. That is by downloading the Kaggle JSON file and then enter the username and Kaggle API. Then we will query the directory where the dataset has been downloaded using the OS module, using the OS module. And remember for us to be able to, to read this notebook, we need to have installed uh, pandas. So we need to install and import a pandas library. So in our notebook, we have the pandas library imported. So let us go to the steps. So step number one is that you install the open datasets library. So what is the open datasets library? What is the open datasets library? If you go to GitHub, you, if you go to github.com slash jovianml slash open datasets, you will get the open datasets library. And uh, the open datasets library is a Python library for downloading data, that, down, downloading datasets from online sources like Kaggle, Google Drive, using the simple Python command. So the open datasets library is a Python library for downloading datasets from uh, sources like Kaggle, Google Drive, using a simple Python command and the contributors. The contributors are uh, Akash NS and B Rajd. They have a very good uh, online data science, machine learning and data analysis learning platform. You can go and check them out if you need to learn data science, machine learning and uh, data analysis. So open data sets, as we have said, is a Python library. And now when we want to use the open data sets, we first need to install the open datasets library. We need to install the open datasets library. So to install it, we will read these comments, uh, but uh, I've just commented it out. But uh, if you don't need to comment it out, if you need to install it, I've, I had commented it out because I already have it installed. So you will use the pip install, open datasets, upgrade, and quiet. Now, you use the upgrade to get the latest, latest uh, version of it, and you use quiet so that you don't get the outputs, the installation uh, outputs. So pip install, open datasets, then you run that uh, cell, if you're using Jupyter Notebooks, then it will install the open datasets library. But because I already have it, that's why I had commented out this line. So after running it, 
you will need to import the open data sets as OD. OD is the alias for open data sets. So you need to import it. And because I already have it, I'll just go to the import uh, to the importation. So, and uh, now, for us to be able to download that dataset from Kaggle after having installed the open datasets library and imported, imported it into Jupyter Notebooks, we will now use it to download the Kaggle dataset. We will now use it to download the Kaggle dataset or you will now use uh, the open datasets library to download datasets from, from Kaggle. Now remember this, remember, remember that there are two ways that you can use to download Kaggle datasets. And in this tutorial, we are going to cover only one way. And uh, the way that you are going to cover or the method that you are going to cover is how to use Kaggle API to download datasets. And the other way is that you can download the Kaggle datasets manually. You can manually download from Kaggle website and use the dataset for your data analysis, machine learning, and data science projects. But the way that you're going to consider today is uh, downloading Kaggle datasets in Jupyter Notebook using the Kaggle API. So already we have mentioned about installing the required packages and we have installed pandas and open datasets. We have mentioned uh, that. So after installing them, after installing them, as we have uh, mentioned here, after installing and importing the open datasets, we need to have a dataset that we need to download. We need to have a dataset that we need to download. And here we are going to download the NYPD shooting incidents data. The NYPD shooting incidents data. Let us go to uh, Kaggle datasets. At least you have a look of if you're a beginner. Now in Kaggle, there are datasets that you can download. This for beginners because we believe you should have a clue of what uh, Kaggle is. So here we have uh, various datasets. There, there are many datasets that we can we can download from from here. There are very many datasets that we can download from here, like these uh, uh, hospitals in the United States. Let us click on that dataset. So we will we'll need the link to this data set we need a link to this uh, data set and uh, the link is found here here is the here is the link but we are not going to use this data set the data set that we are using we have said that we are going to use the we are going to use the NYPD shooting incidents data so we need to have the download URL so you need to have a variable name as a download URL and the value here is this download URL. So you'll get the URL of that data set and have it as the value there. After that, we'll remember we imported open data sets as OD. So we'll use the OD.download helper function. So if you if you have the data set, the output will be skipping, skipping found downloaded file. You will see that in a in a minute. So we'll use the OD dot download, and here we'll insert the download URL. Then we'll run this. We'll run this cell. Does run this cell? It will require something from us. Let us see what it will require. When we run that cell. It says, please provide your Kaggle credentials to download this dataset. Please provide your Kaggle credential to download this dataset. And remember, in the steps that we mentioned that you are going to follow, we were also supposed to show you how to get Kaggle credentials. And you see, for us to be able to use this dataset, we need to provide our Kaggle credentials. So where do we get our Kaggle credentials from? Where do we get our Kaggle credentials from. So let us show you how to get your Kaggle credentials. You'll still need to go to Kaggle 
But first let us go to uh, Kaggle's uh, GitHub page. So go to Kaggle's GitHub page. That is uh, github.com slash Kaggle slash Kaggle API. They have given us a procedure on how to get the Kaggle API because we need it, how to get the Kaggle credentials. So API credentials. So it says that to use the Kaggle API, you need to sign up for a Kaggle account at www.kaggle.com. We already have an account. If you don't have an account, you need to sign up for a Kaggle account at uh, kaggle.com. Then you need to go to the account tab of your user profile. We need you need to go to the account tab of your user profile. Remember we're talking about how to get to get the Kaggle credential. So you need to sign up for a Kaggle account. Then you go to the account tab of your user profile and select create API token. And what this will do is that it will trigger the download of Kaggle.json file. And this is a file which contains your API credentials. So let us uh, do that. So we go to our Kaggle. Uh, we go to our Kaggle uh, account. So here on the on the top right, on the top right corner, I don't have a profile photo here. But on the top top uh, on the top right corner of your Kaggle account. There is this place whereby you have your profile photo. You click on that. Then it will bring you to this menu. And in this menu, you go to your account. You go to your account. You click on your account. We are trying to get our Kaggle uh, API. Then you scroll down to where you will find API. You scroll down to where you will find API. And here it says using Kaggle's beta API. You can interact with competition data sets to download data, make submissions and more via the command line. And you can go and read the docs. But we need to create a new API token because that is the procedure that we had been given. We need to create a new API token because uh, for us to be able to download the data set, we need to enter our Kaggle credentials. So you'll come here and you click on this, create new API token and it will download the Kaggle.json file so you go to where the file has been downloaded to you go to where the file has been downloaded to if your default uh, download location is downloads folder you go there and you open the kaggle.json file using uh, vs code if you're using vs code or using the notepad you open using the notepad and in that file you'll find uh, your username and you will also find your key you'll find your username mine has already been downloaded so I'll find my username and I'll find the API key. So we go back to our editor. We are using the VS Code. What does it require? Please provide your Kaggle credentials. Download this data set. So at the top here, you'll, you'll see a place written, press enter to confirm or escape to cancel. So it is in this space whereby you enter your username. I've entered the username. Then I press enter to confirm. Now, what does it need? Your Kaggle username, your Kaggle Key. We have already entered the username. Now we enter the Kaggle key. So you go to your Kaggle.json file that you had downloaded to your downloads folder, if that was a default download location, and you copy the API. And remember, you need to, to hide it for security purposes. So I've copied it. So let me enter to confirm. So it will download the file. It is still running. We have provided the Kaggle credentials now so it is downloading the file it is downloading the file so let it download the file you can see the download process it has been downloaded so it says your kaggle username your kaggle key downloading nypd shooting incidents data zip to nypd shooting incidents data 206 2021 so the download uh, is a hundred percent complete now we need to we need to query we need to access these uh, these these data set we need to access the, these data sets and now our next step as we had mentioned is to import the OS module our next step is to import the OS module remember the the module comes as a Python standard utility module the module comes as a Python standard utility module so unlike open data sets whereby we installed 
this one because it comes as a standard uh, utility as a python standard utility module we'll not need to install it we'll just need to import it but if you don't have it you can also uh, pip install uh, the os uh, module so the importance of the os module is that it helps with querying the directory where the data set has been downloaded to because after we had entered our Kaggle credentials the data set was downloaded was downloaded and we need to query where this data set has been downloaded to and to help us in that we need that's why we need the import uh, we need the os module and we have said that it helps us with querying the directory where the data set has been downloaded to and that is done by interacting with the underlying operating system so we need this module to interact with the underlying operating system and with the os module what can we do with the os module what can we do this is just a, a brief overview of the os module but that was not our tutorial we are talking about how to download Kaggle data sets but because the os module is important that's why we are giving you a brief overview of this os module so with the module you can create and remove a folder or a directory you can fetch the contents of a directory and that's what we are going to do we are going to fetch the contents of the directory where our data set has been downloaded to you can change and identify the current directory among other operations you, you can go to uh, python's website and uh, find out or you can go online and find out the os module and uh, read about it but today we are going to use it to fetch the contents of the directory where our notebook or, or where our data set has been downloaded to where our, our data set has been downloaded to so you need to import os you need to import os so here we have a variable of the directory where our data set has been downloaded so that is data directory where our data is data directory and remember after we had entered our Kaggle credentials it told us that it has been downloaded to this directory nypd so we need to fetch the contents of that directory and that's why we use the os module so uh, our data directory this is the data directory so we need to list directory remember you you know the command line that when you want to see the the contents of a directory you you list uh, you list dir or you list directory so we'll after download importing this module so we we have it here as we'll write this line os dot list dir then we enter the name of the data directory here then we we run this cell we enter that so it has given us this is the output nypd shooting incident data from 206 to 2021.csv so it has listed what is found inside this directory and inside this directory is a csv file which is nypd shooting incidents data from 206 to 2021 so already we have uh, fetched the contents of this directory and we have here when we list the contents of this directory just like how you use the the command line just like how you use the command line so we have this csv file so we need to access this csv file we need to open this csv file so the data file name the data file name so if you are using it depends also with the operating system that you are using if it depends with the operating system that you are using if you are using mac or windows you need to check on uh, this uh, on this slash whether it's a uh, forward or backward because i'm using windows it is a forward forward a forward slash if you are using mac i believe it should be back a backward slash so if uh, if if you don't get this right it will it will not open it will not open the the csv so if you are using windows you need to check if it is forward slash or backward slash so we need to access uh we need to open this csv so we'll have the data file name so we'll it is found in this data directory so we we to access it we have the data directory and we have the csv file remember we are using this operator this uh, plus operator now to open so we'll we'll run we'll run this 
this is very important confirm if you if your operating system allows the forward slash or the backward slash now we have uh, we have the data file name we have run that cell now let us access it and to access it we'll use the pandas library and that's why at the beginning we say that you need to have the pandas library installed you need to have the pandas library so we'll open it as a csv you can open it as an excel file if, it, if you have downloaded an excel file but here we have downloaded it as a csv that's why we need to open the data set as a csv so we open the data set so we'll run this cell so it is running we don't have any error message which means that we are doing fine so let us see the data frame let us see the data frame to see the data frame let us print it out let us print it out and there we have it and this is the the data frame let me zoom out let me zoom out so that you can see it This is the data frame. This is the New York shooting incidences data frame. So that is how we download a data set from Kaggle using the Kaggle API token. Another way we have said that you can access, you can download a Kaggle data sets is using the manual download method, but that is for another day. And that is very simple. Today we are not doing the manual download. Today we were using the Kaggle API token. So that is how we download a Kaggle data set from Kaggle in case you want to use it outside Kaggle notebook. So what are our steps? We install the open data sets library. We have used the open data sets dot download helper function. We have got our credentials, our Kaggle credentials from Kaggle, which allowed us to download the Kaggle.json file. Then we have entered our username as required by the editor and we have also entered our Kaggle API which is stored in the Kaggle.json file. Then we have queried the directory where the data set has been downloaded using the OS module. Remember the module comes as a Python standard utility module. So that has been our tutorial today. Don't forget to comment how do you download your Kaggle data files when you don't want to use them uh, inside the Kaggle uh, notebooks. How do you download them? Remember to comment down down there do we have any other way other than the kaggle api and the manual download leave a comment down in the comment section below also don't forget to like share and subscribe you have a good day